Does anyone else have a drawer or a shelf or something full of half finished projects? I know I certainly do. And I found this little half finished mini album on one of my shelves. It's a little bit sun damaged, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. So I decided to fix it up and decorate it and give it a different life as a pretty piece of happy mail. So I'm just showing you the pages and things here. The pink one in the centre is a top opening pocket, but the others are just standard pages. This month I am guest designing for Lollipop Box Club and using their kit Finding Paradise. The colours in this are perfect to go with that little half finished mini album. So I'm just going to show you through the kit here. Lots of pretty summery paradise feeling bits in here. So some stamps, some paper clips, you always get ephemera and stickers. This little bag has even more goodies, some little sparkly bits, a tassel, the postcard, some pink ribbon there. This is my favourite thing, this glittery tulle. This pink handmade paper is also gorgeous. And then you get the standard kit papers as well, which are really pretty and bright and summery in this kit. Look at these, so, so pretty. I really like that blue shade as well. So the first thing I needed to do was choose my papers for the cover. I went for this summer leaf pattern. I'm not sure um, what leaf that would, maybe palm leaf, maybe. <laughs> and um, I've decided to use that, like I said, for the cover. So I have cut a piece for the front, the back and the spine, ready to go on there. It worked out that the papers were the perfect size for the cover, which is very handy. I've gone ahead and stitched those, and then it's just a case of sticking them onto the front, back, and the spine. I love this craftalier tape for that, the really thick one. I feel like it holds it very well, and you don't need to use quite as much as if you're using the thinner tape and trying to cover it all. Stick that on there. And then I decide I need a closure and I've forgotten to add the ribbon. <laughs> so I think the ribbon would be nice to tie in a bow, but I haven't added that on obviously before I've added my pretty paper. So I peel that up and stick it down, add my spine piece. And then I actually decide that I'm not sure that ribbon is held securely enough. So I do go back and use some hot glue. I peel the paper up again, yet again, and pop some hot glue under there to hold it properly. And I do actually show you how to add it, or how I should have added it rather, starting with the ribbon and then the pretty paper. So I'm just fixing my mistake now. I think about using a staple, but I decide hot glue is probably a safer option. I also had my fan on when I was filming this because it was that ridiculous heat wave in the UK. So I apologize if things go flying off my desk or you can see the ribbon moving there. This is how I should have done it had I planned it properly. So I've stuck the ribbon down with my hot glue and then added my pretty paper on the top. And that way I can just tie this together when the album is full. The next thing I need to do is just make sure that the structure is okay. So I'm adding some hot glue and sticking that spine back together, making sure that all of the pages are actually one piece. So this one at the back shouldn't be a pocket, it shouldn't open at the bottom there. So I'm using some hot glue to just stick that back together and make it one page. The only one that is a pocket is the bright pink one in the middle. So I've left that a top opening pocket. Then I need to choose my papers for the inside. So I go ahead and cut a bunch of them to the correct size for the pages. And I decide that for the inside cover at the back, I want a pocket. So I use this pretty blue paper then this gorgeous pink one with the lemons and I just tear the top here using my tear guide and then hold it on the paper, stitch three sides and I have a pocket. Adding that on to the back cover now. I do have to grab a few extra papers from my stash because there are so many pages in this but I managed to use all of the kit papers and I'll show you how I do that shortly. I'm using the postcard here on a piece of scrap paper and that will be one of the pages. 
This is how I added all of the little extra bits that I cut off. So I've used a white scrap piece of card cut to the right size and then added strips of the kit papers on there. And I've torn some of these. I'll show you the finished product shortly. Here is the mini album with the cover complete. And here is this pretty paper we were making. So this is the one we made with all the strips of the kit papers. I've got some other pretty papers in here from the kit, a few scrap papers to fill it out. And that's all of my pages all prettied up and ready to be decorated. I knew I wanted something on the spine. So I decided to add a chain, which I'm planning to fill with all sorts of beads and pretty things. And I want it to go sort of diagonally. I do mess this up to begin with. I make one of the holes um, too far over. But I just go back and punch the hole in the correct place and I will decorate the spine to cover up the extra hole that I don't need. To do this, I'm using my crocodile and some pretty little eyelets. So you can see that I have that extra hole that I don't need, but that should be quite easy to cover up with a sticker or something. Adding my eyelets into the two correct ones so that my chain will go slightly diagonal. And then I'm looking for a way to add my chain. And I come up with something, I haven't, I don't think I've seen it before, but um, it worked for me. So I've got these head pins and a little stopper, which I put onto the head pin to make sure it doesn't come all the way through the hole. Poke it from the inside out, then use my bead looper to create a loop. But it ends up being more like a hook, which actually works very well. Um, and then I just hook my chain into this. So I'm showing you how I did that one. And you can see I've already done the one at the bottom there. And I'm grabbing my chain, hooking it into the loop at the top or the hook at the top. Closing that up with my pliers. There we go. Takes a minute to get the right shape. And then I put it down and hook it into the bottom loop as well. Again, it just takes me a minute to get it in the right space, in the right place. Um, and I cut this with my wire cutters to the correct length. I think I hook it in first and then cut it. So I'm 100% sure that it will be long enough. Pinch that one closed as well. Cut off the excess chain. And then I have a pretty little detail on my spine. So like I said, I want to add beads and things to this. I think that would look really pretty. But to be honest, the chain does look cute on its own. You could just leave that as the detail if you wanted to. I decided to add this pom-pom, not pom-pom, it's a tassel, isn't it? I decided to add this tassel from the kit. And I put that up the top there. So I have to open that loop again, but it doesn't matter too much. It's quite easy to do with the pliers. And that's all I add for now. But like I said, I might go back and add some bits on there. And then it's time to decorate the front of the album. So I go very Sue's Fish for this. I decide to just use squares of all the different materials in the box. So I have got, well, it's not a perfect square, is it? Sort of um, shapes, I should say. I've used the pink handmade paper, some of the tissue paper as well. And I've just stapled those together to hold them in place. I'm using some of this sparkly chalk as well. I'm just layering those up sort of haphazardly so they all look very fluffy and chunky and very textured, which I really like. And I'm putting that on the front there. At this point, I still have no idea what kind of style or icons or anything I'm going for. I've just layered up pretty things. And I'm adding some tape to the back of that to stick onto the album. Struggling with this tape. There we go, nearly there. Stick that on. And then what's the next step for this one? Adding some foam tape. <laughs> making sure it's stuck down because I've only sort of stapled certain bits and way to keep the chunkiness. So I've added some foam tape under the bits that aren't stuck down as well. 
And also, this was filmed during that ridiculous heatwave in the UK, so I apologise if my things are flying all over the desk, I had the fan on. It was non-negotiable in that heat, so I apologise for that, but hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. I've cut that piece from the postcard, the little circle in a square. I've chosen that flamingo, they're gorgeous, I want them on the page. And now I'm fussy cutting some more of these palm leaves. Again, I think they're palm leaves, I'm guessing. And I've layered those behind. I looked at using this hay from the postcard, but I decided to go for hay summer. Is it hay summer? Summer day. Summer day, sorry, is what I go for in the end. And I just staple that on. Think about using the hay somewhere else, but it doesn't make it in the end. I decide I like this better with the leaves layered behind it. So I add some foam tape on the back of this piece and then layer the leaves as they were a moment ago, but with some adhesive this time. If you are enjoying this video, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. I'd love to see you around here again for more crafty videos. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook and all of those good places. They are all linked in the description if you want to find me over there. Just layering up these leaves. So I've got foam tape on the back of the summer day piece. And I'm just sticking the leaves to that. Then more of this pink paper on the back there. And I'm just cutting it so that it looks like it's nicely layered behind there. Looks like there's a little rectangle of it. Some more of this glittery chaw as well. So I cut the rectangle and then decide there's far too much of it lost behind the cluster. So I cut that in half and then just glue it to each edge so that it looks like there's a complete piece and actually I don't have to waste that much of it, which is great. Finding my little rubber finger protector because as always, I've burnt myself on the hot glue. I never get these out before I burn myself. <laughs> I really should. There we go. I like how that looks, but it needs another layer. So we're adding more of the tissue paper from the kit. This is just the tissue paper that the kit comes wrapped in. So that's a great way to use even more of your kit contents. Make sure you're using all the packaging as well. Some hot glue and then sticking that down. And it's really chunky and textured and all the good things. I add in some more of the little um, ephemera pieces. So I've got this flamingo, which I pop on the side there. I don't know what happened to the original idea to have the flamingo in the circle. I've only, I'm sort of watching this back to edit and voiceover and I don't seem to add it where I wanted it in the first place <laughs> but it gets on there somewhere. This little paper clip was holding one of the bags together in the kit and I've just popped that on some of the layers. Pulling out some flowers now, I feel like this needs some florals and I've had these ones in my stash for ages and there was something about them that I didn't love and then I got some flowers from Chloe who's the rainbow crafter and she'd like double layered the flowers like I'm doing here um, with the same colour. I decided I didn't like the two-tone. <laughs> so I've done it with the same colour. And it just looks so much more something. It just looks so much better. So I decided to do that with these. I've layered each of them. And then working out where I want to put them on my project. Adding in some of the floral pieces from the kit as well. Some of these tiny flowers from my stash and I'm just adding a little gold dot centre to those to match the gold beads in the middle of these ones. Hot gluing the flowers on there. Hot glued that one to the paper clip. So you could actually pull that one off if you wanted to. My little pink flower. Again, I'm going for this sort of diagonal design. This seems to be one of my favourites. I'm always doing this where I sort of cascade embellishments from one corner to the other. Pulling in all of the kit colours with these flowers. These are die cut pieces that I'm adding now from the kit. And there are actually more flowers on the sticker sheet, which I add 
at the end, I think. Oh, I'm adding them now. There you go. I found the extra flowers on the sticker sheet. Finding a spot for this white one. And then a spot for this blue one. It still needs more, so these pink gems are perfect. I'm going to add some of those cascading down as well. But apparently not at this moment. Nope, I need more flowers. <laughs> I decided I need more flowers first. So again, I'm just layering these up. Some of them come with the bead in the centre and some of them are plain, which is actually really handy for this. Because it means I can use one of each to layer them up. Another yellow flower. These are more of the little teeny tiny ones. And I don't like the white bead in the centre for this layout. So I am pulling that off and then putting a little gold centre on these. Again, the fan's moving everything across my desk. I do apologise. Did anyone enjoy those really hot days in the UK? I haven't heard anybody yet, but there must be someone. <laughs> Somebody who loved it. I fussy cut those sunglasses from... What are they sunglasses? I think they're supposed to be sunglasses. From the paper. Added this little cocktail and this little wedge of lime because that matches cocktails to me. And I'm just putting the glasses up on some foam tape before I add those on. Make a little cluster there. Using some of the leaves from the sticker sheet. I'm just putting those amongst the flowers. I do apologise for all the um, garden noise. I've got the doors open. And it seems that next door's dog is unhappy about something <laughs> happening. So he's barking away. So I apologise about that if you can hear it. I've used this worth the weight, is it worth the weight? Yeah, worth the weight sticker strip. And I've just cut it in half so that it fits nicely on that little circle. More florals. I just felt like it needed even more. I think so that it looks like they're sort of going behind the cluster. It looks like they go the whole way across even though they don't. I like, I like the way that looks. Another little blue one. Some more gems. So I go for these plain, just clear crystal gems. Adding a bunch of those in all of the different spots. I'm sure I used the pink gems from the kit as well. I'm just not sure when I show you. There we go. Added the clear ones. Here we go. These are the pink gems from the kit. I knew they went on there. Tucking some behind some flowers. I actually need to apologise for the noise of my own dog now because she's wandering around and her collar sounds like a, um, not like a bell, but it makes that kind of noise. So if you can hear her wandering, I apologise as well. And this is our little album complete. So I've decorated all of the front there with that cascade of flowers and things. And then actually I've decided it isn't complete. And I'm going to add some different leaves. I was showing you it because I was like, oh, yep, done. <laughs> and apparently I've decided to add another flamingo on the left there. I don't think I showed you that. And then a bunch of these leaves from the die cuts. So I can't be the only person that does that either. There must be others that finish things that are like, yep, finished, and then add a bunch of other stuff. And sometimes it turns out and sometimes not so much. <laughs> sometimes I wish I'd left it alone. But this is one that I actually really like the outcome. So I'm pleased that I carried on adding more bits and pieces. These little leaves just add a little, a little something that it needs, I think. And now it is complete. So this is our finished mini album. I hope you have enjoyed hanging out and crafting with me. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.